Hey, good morning. Hey, good morning. It's time for another everyday getaway, and today we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, for the next two or three days, we are going to highlight some of the beautiful trails here in Lynchburg, which is in the heart of Virginia. Uh, we know that there are some folks who are moving into the city or perhaps have lived here for a while who have maybe never experienced some of these beautiful trails, or we are about to welcome back students from several universities and colleges and maybe you are new to the area or um, one of those college students who are looking for something safe to get outside and do to be able to social distance and exercise and we just want to share with you some um, really nice well-maintained parks here in the heart of Virginia so today we're going to go to Riverwalk Trail which is downtown and it leads over to Percival Island and uh, we're going to just show you some of the beauty that's there and give you a chance to see the uh, James River this morning and a little bit of what that trail offers. We'll see you in a bit. All right, so we're going to pick up here on the Riverwalk Trail. Riverwalk begins where Blackwater Creek Trail ends, and we are going to take the trail over to Percival's Island, and uh, we will take you along on the journey. Um, we're going to cross over the bridge and once we cross over the bridge, we will be on Percival's Island. Generally, you see some uh, deer at least, and so hopefully we'll get a chance to see some wildlife for you and take a look at the river. So this is the view from the top of the bridge. It kind of looks over the James River. There's uh, the fountain, and the water is really low today, but it's really beautiful this morning. It is Monday about nine in the morning, and there seems to be a lot of folks already out trying to beat the heat, I'm sure. But we'll give you a chance to see just some of the beauty that God's created here. And uh, then we'll take off again on the trail. By the way, we had a lot of rain a few weeks ago and the river was really up. So we'll try to insert a picture or two um, just of how far up the river was or how far the water was. Okay, so we've just crossed over the bridge and this is such a beautiful spot. I will take you over here and show you one more place that we'll try to insert a picture. I want you to look at just where the water level is here today. Take you to the top of this little set of stairs. Uh, the water is down over that little tiny cliff. Most of the trail is nice and shaded. The path is, for the most part, paved. And there are some side paths that go down to the river that are unpaved, but for what most folks would either run, bike, or walk on, it is paved. And we're still on the lookout for some deer. Uh, there's plenty of places to stop and rest if you need to. And there's also a few picnic tables along the side. Sometimes we've seen people out here bring their family for a little picnic and a little trail that goes down to the river right there. So there's plenty of places to sit down if you need to where you're going. This is the second bridge on the trail. As we continue on the other side, it will end up, I think, in, heading into Amherst County. But it does again go over the, the river. Percival's Island is an old railroad bed. Um, now it's pretty much used for recreation. And the trails have been, like I said before, really well maintained the parks and rec department so we enjoy just using and taking advantage of it uh, we did see a fawn but i wasn't quick enough to hit play so we missed out on that deer hopefully we'll see another here's a good view So beautiful. Scripture that says, as a deer panteth for the water, so I panteth for you. For so my heart longeth for you. Hey, that's it for today. We're gonna try another trail tomorrow. We hope you enjoyed this one. And we'll see you soon. Her ass is the dreamer. Hey, good morning. Hey, it's 24 hours after we left you. We walked about three miles yesterday. Today we are going to go into the uh, Blackwater Creek Trail at the Ed Page entrance. That's off of Langhorne Road in Lynchburg. It's right behind the Greek Orthodox Church. And we're gonna start by taking you through the Awareness Garden, which is just a quiet place for folks whose lives have been touched by cancer. And then we'll continue on the trail. It's overwhelming what we need to do. But one 
song can change the world, I know that's true. And I know that cause I know you. There are tons of people on the trail this morning. Um, this is one of my favorite places on the trail system in Lynchburg to walk. I love these rocks with these trees coming out of it. This is a really shady place to walk. Um, just beautiful, lots of trees, flowers. There are a lot of people walking and biking and running today. So you have to be really careful because they'll probably run you over with your bicycles. Uh, for the most part, people pass on the left pretty easily and they will say to the left or ring their bell, but um, there's sometimes you just really have to be paying attention in case they don't. And I only had one time that I haven't had somebody um, not let us know they were coming and it almost become an accident. For the most part, everybody's really good about letting you know. We love the tall trees. And just this canopy above, it's just so beautiful and so peaceful. So as you walk, you just have to watch out for snakes on the path, but otherwise, enjoy the beauty. Most of the pathway is paved and it's, uh, there's some hills, but it's a, a, an easy walk. It's not difficult in any means. Uh, it is very busy today. Uh, there are some paths that go off to the side that go down to the creek. Those are not paved. So we're on our way back. We've walked almost two miles. The way back is a steady incline. It's not bad, it's very doable. And we did wanna show you, there's not a lot of wildlife on this trail, but there is a lot of beautiful foliage and a lot of the trees are marked. This is a sugar maple. And along the way, you can brush up on your tree identification. Hey, we're back at the Awareness Garden. We hope you enjoyed our walk with us today at this Blackwater Creek Trail. Uh, tomorrow we'll pick up at the... Holland's Mill. That's right, the Holland Mill. So we hope to see you tomorrow morning. Hey, good morning, everybody. Good morning. It is, again, 24 hours later, and this morning we are going on the Point of Honor Trail. We are at the Holland's Mill entrance, and we'll show you the, the uh, Holland's Mill Dam before we leave. But we will take you a little bit down towards the tunnel and get you on this trail. This trail also goes by Blackwater Creek and just wanted to show you all the ducks there enjoying the morning sunshine. Just wanted to see this really cool tree. I love the root system on that. Um, this part of the trail, I'll take you over. The Blackwater Creek is really close by. The water is a lot more still, so it looks a little bit more muddy, but you are pretty close, so if you want to even fish off the bank, you can do that from here. So here's the tunnel on this part of the trail, and it's well lit, and it's kind of fun to go through. A couple of years ago, we had a really, really cold spurt, and Doug and our son hiked down, and Doug, what was it like? Uh, one thing you'll notice when you're walking into the tunnel, there's a huge temperature change, which is really nice. It's a lot cooler. But during the winter time, the whole thing was covered with icicles hanging from the top. It was, it was really neat to walk through. So if you're ever here during the winter time, this is a great place to come to. We'll try to insert a picture from that really cold spot just so you can see how covered in ice it was. Maybe. That's just the dreamer in me. The dam at Holland's Mill. Beautiful place to come. There's a park up top with picnic benches. And that leads into that trail that we were just on. Hey, thanks again for joining us. We hope you've enjoyed these last few days of the trails around Lynchburg. We went about seven and a half miles, but there's a lot more for you to see and do. If you've enjoyed being with us, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And uh, we've enjoyed being with you. Take care of yourself, be kind to others, and we'll see you soon. I know that because I know you.